Hey everyone, Mike Sherry back at Paul Sherry Used Cars and boy do I have a truck to show you today. This is a almost new, I about said all new, 2020 GMC Sierra. This is the AT4. It's a crew cab pickup, four wheel drive. The AT4 is near the top trim level for the Sierra. It is definitely the top trim level for off-road performance. And uh, I am by no means a General Motors guy. I, I really like their, their vehicles. I just don't see a ton of them in. So I'm gonna go through this review with you. Uh, I'll do as extensive as I can. And I think it'll turn out good, but I apologize if, it, if I miss a couple things. So front windshield really looks good. I don't notice any issues there with any cracks or anything like that. Even on the front hood here, maybe a couple small rock chips, but not much. A uh, full painted front grille here. I believe this is a carbon metallic paint. Uh, really looks good on this package. Has fog lights down low. Front parking sensors in the front bumper. Has uh, the tow hooks up here. This thing has cameras everywhere uh, to help you in parking. There's a front camera there. Uh, all around really good looking front end. Now if you notice here the stance of the truck, they have a factory two inch i believe it's a suspension lift on this pickup truck to help it have you know a little bit better clearance allow a little bit bigger wheel and tire under there and just give you that really awesome look and feel now this one does have the 6.2 liter v8 in it which is the gas engine uh, also that's connected to the 10 speed transmission vehicle has under 8,000 miles it is a one owner I uh, got traded in on a new Ram pickup truck so you know a lot of this stuff is is just about pretty much new it's got cameras on both mirrors here has the running board the running board goes past the rear door and allows for a little step to help you get up into the bed of the truck too. Uh, this is a crew cab which is going to be General Motors big cab. You're going to have a little bit extra design in the leather seats here as you can see. Got a little storage back there. A lot of cool stuff in this pickup. Pull down beverage holder has the rubber matting in here. This is, looks like factory rubber matting. Uh, back here, the exterior seats, the perimeter seats I call them, are heated, uh, has USB plug-ins and 12 volt power back here for the rear. We'll get more into the inside here when we get to the other side, get into the driver compartment. Sorry for hitting the camera there. All right, as we get back to the rear of the truck, this is the AT4, which is the trim level. Does have dual exhaust. I love how it's built into the bumper there. Rear parking sensors. It is ready to tow. It has the two inch towing receiver. Some wiring back here for your trailers. Those are for actually cameras. Uh, if you want to put cameras on your trailer and then that automatically connects into the radio up there. Uh, and then there's your seven pin wiring um, for towing now this does have built-in brake controller as well so if you have a trailer that has that electronic brakes on your trailer you'll be able to they'll just work because it's already got the, the trailer brakes on the keyless entry here we have lock and unlock of course remote start which is nice also you can release your tailgate which we'll do here in a second and it also has panic so release the tailgate and down it comes this is the multi-function tailgate here i believe there's six different functions of it here and I played around with it briefly and I'm sure there's extensive videos of these online but uh, this will come up and this kind of creates a stop if you want to use the the bed here for something a little longer and kind of stop it um, also I noticed here so it's all power it's got built-in camera in here uh, if you push let's see the top button it releases just this top part and then this comes down and kind of acts as a workstation and also you can kind of put it up again so if you have something a little bit longer but you need it up a little taller so it doesn't slide out of your bed of your truck you can do that so it's a it's a patented tailgate that General Motors is using and customers really like it now in the actual bed of the truck I'll hop up in here it's got some tool 
carriers here. They're locking. I believe these have been added in. I don't believe these are factory, but a nice little storage area. And what I like about it, it goes right over the wheel well, as you can see, and they're on both sides. So it really doesn't take up any space in the bed. Now this bed does have a spray in bed liner to protect it, which is always nice. And then here looks like kind of your, your helper uh, pole to help you get up into the bed of the truck if you need it. Paint looks good everywhere on it. Fuel fill here on the driver's side, I know a lot of you appreciate that. Everything looks good there. Uh, now financing is available on this pickup. Uh, you see if, and to see if you qualify and what your payment therefore will be, we got a link right on our website. So make sure you, if you're interested in that, fill that out, save you some time. This has a lot of safety features in it. So it has the blind spot monitoring. It's gonna let you know uh, what I was just pointing out on that mirror there, that'll light up and let you know, hey, someone's on your potential blind spot on that side of the vehicle. All right, as we get into the pickup, let's just hop on in and we'll go over some of the features. All around really clean, no weird smells, drives great. All right, so let's start here on the left and go right and uh, we'll get through this here. It has power locks. Uh, has memory seats where you can program up the two drivers that's going to keep your seat or make your seat go to where you like it when you push whatever uh, one or two person you are and then here it does have uh, remote controlled mirrors uh, power windows here and then let's see yeah power folding mirrors as well that's really nice to have uh, so the windows and the driver and passenger are the one touch down and one touch up power windows in the back over here uh, this is mode for trip for driving. Uh, you can go sport to off-road to normal is the options it shows right here on the center display. So uh, here we have your four-wheel drive controls right below that. And then below that we have your lighting controls and it does have automatic headlights. Just leave them on auto and don't mess with the rest. <laughs> Electronic parking brake below that. So it does have a, a color heads up display. Typically when I see a heads up display, and I don't know if the camera's catching that, I believe it's 15 inch heads up display up here. Uh, it's showing the miles per uh, hour, cruise control, uh, road condition, things of that sort right there. And it's color. Typically I'm used to just seeing kind of a, a weird red color. And this is your heads up display buttons right here. Uh, center dash here. So we've got, uh, uh, analog controls on the right and the left for speedometer and um, tachometer. In the center here, it does have full digital display, which is going to show you know how much fuel you got. It looks like I'm a little low on fuel right now. Um, and miles it has 7,078 miles on it. Uh, here is your cruise control here on the steering wheel, uh, and then it does have uh, forward collision warning. So if someone pulls out in front of you, this vehicle is going to react. Heated steering wheel. Uh, over here, it does have controls for uh, hands-free connectivity, so you can talk on this car's audio system on your cell phone hands-free. And then here, it does have controls for that center digital display. Uh, in the back here, it's got uh, some buttons for volume on the radio and tuning on the radio, which is pretty standard. Uh, the radio, I believe they're eight inches, eight inch color screen in here. You're gonna have AM, FM, Sirius radio, Bluetooth capabilities, does have navigation, does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. A lot of different apps. You can get into your cameras, get into your Sirius Alexa. A lot of different stuff there on the radio, but pretty easy to use. It does have buttons and knobs down here uh, for radio volume and tuning. Heating and air conditioning controls, are, they are automatic. You can sync them together and you can set a predetermined temperature and it's going to regulate that, which I like. Uh, heated seats, vented seats up front here, so both heated and vented. Uh, downhill assist. Uh, does have, I forgot to show you, it has a 400 watt, 115 volt power outlet in the bed of the truck. You can turn that on and off here. Traction control. You can release the tailgate from inside. This is the where the engine stops when it's in, you know, at rest. So at stop signs and stuff, you can turn that on and off. Parking sensors you can turn on and off. And it does have lane assist to keep you in your lane on your highway. So you can turn that on and off if you want. Uh, down below here, it does have a trailer brake. 
uh, control. That's your electronic trailer brake controller that I mentioned earlier. So we've got USB plugins to charge your phone, uh, but you don't necessarily need that. That's uh, to connect your phone to uh, for the Android Auto because down here uh, does have the charging station wireless charging station so if your phone's equipped for that you can see my phone just clicked on and said hey it's charging and another uh, power outlet right there a couple beverage holders another slot for a phone that not does not charge up on this top here uh, some more USB plugins and auxiliary port for phone and a nice deep and I like it's all plastic so it's gonna be easy to clean up uh, container here digital mirror we're seeing a lot of that we're seeing it in the ram side too i like it because if something's in the bed of the truck you can see still see what's behind the truck all right camera so i'm going to click it in reverse and there is a ton of camera views i think there's like 15 camera views here so you basically can see all around the truck and i'm just going to kind of go through these quickly here there's uh quite a bit to to see here but you even have trailer hitch view which is one of my favorite because when you're hooking up to your trailer, you're going to be able to get it on first try. Um, up here we have programs for your garage doors and also has opening skylight, does have a shade that comes over it, a couple glove boxes, has the factory books, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite the truck we've got here. Uh, window back here opens up, it is power, I don't know if you can catch that, but that back window does open up and it's power. So. Really great truck. If you have something to trade in on this, we'd love an opportunity to make a deal out with you. If you don't, we, we will sell out right as well. So uh, let's just make a deal. You can save thousands of dollars and this truck's not hurt. Still gonna have remainder of factory warranty and all around really clean truck. I'm impressed. So I pulled up the history report. It's how I found it was one owner. Uh, we post these on our website. This has never been an accident. This is as clean as they come. Scores 97 out of 96. So uh, you can check that out on our website as well as a lot of other things. So take a look at those links below. Sorry for a long one, but there's a lot of cool stuff on this track. Thanks for watching, everyone.